Good morning everybody, that random man here, and welcome to the Goring 10k race day vlog. Um, the weather today is, let's see if we can get a bit of outside shot, it's it's not great, it's a bit, it's raining, it, essentially, it's raining. Um, supposed to stop around 11 o'clock, which is the start time of the race today, uh, so a bit late but that's when they're starting, so I can't really, can't really say no to it. Um, and I can't say no to it because it is the county champs this year. Um, I was in the uh, road race AGM in, I think, November, December time. And uh, they were discussing what was going to be in Grand Prix and county champs this year. And the lady who organised Goring was there and she volunteered, which... When you volunteer for the to take the county champs, the the road race team are going to take it. Um, yeah, it it generally tends to be more of a can you please host the county champs as opposed to thank you for hosting the county champs. You know, you know clubs clubs tend to to take it on as a burden. You know, not you know it's it's nice it's nice to have a county champs race, but it, there's lots of extra faff to get it sorted so fair play to the goring organizers for uh taking it taking it on as the county champs this year and that also means it's grand prix so yes first race of the grand prix this year which is uh so it's uh two title defenses today uh short course county champs for uh yes for 10k so obviously it won't be in Encham later in the year and yeah grand prix um normally uh banbury 15 starts the grand prix year uh that is next week and there's it's about 50 50 that it's on actually on the same day as goring i'm not sure if they had a chat but yeah they're on what well, they're one week after the other both in the grand prix goring is the county champs let's crack on with the ride there Good morning everyone, here we are, on the warm-up, just found the start, oh, there you go, if you can hear that, that's someone else saying good morning, um, yeah, never done this course before, so it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, but it could be to my benefit, as I've, um, when I did Bramley a couple of weeks ago, I hadn't done it for what, seven years so I uh, I sort of went into it not knowing or just forgetting where the hard parts were and just running it hard so it'll probably be similar today with it being county champs um, I have seen Matthew Marshall I can't remember if I may have mentioned it in the warm-up but uh, not in the warm-up in the intro but he was I had a chat with him and he was 50-50 on running today because he's been skiing this week so with any luck he'll be a little bit he'll be a little bit tired and I mean it's not an easy course from what I've seen what I've uh, talked about with other people um, it's it is literally an uphill start I've just seen the start I might get a shot of it on the way back round it is right bang on the bottom of the hill and it looks like a climb right at the start so certainly an interesting one to start um, I looked at the course record it's 33.12 which I mean is certainly doable again much like, I don't know bringing out the excuses but much like Matthew I'm probably a bit tired from work I mean um, for those of you that didn't see the internet yesterday Sainsbury's had a bit of a an outage in its uh, 
in the online department. Um, so most of yesterday I wasn't doing click and collect and the online orders. I was um, I spent most of the time putting all the online orders back that uh, that didn't go through. So it was a different kind of a uh, exercise. It wasn't as much lifting large boxes. It was doing lots of little putbacks, which was you know something different. Made a change, um, but got loads of steps in. So excuses, excuses. <laughs> um, so yeah, win would be nice. Uh, all right, let's crack on on the way back. <laughs> yeah, win would be beautiful. Course record would be decent. Um, I know there's a bit of a tiny bit of off road as well. Again, from mumblings what I've what I've seen because I just haven't really didn't really get around to reading the course description or anything. But uh, yeah, there is a touch of off road as well. So we'll have to deal with that when we get to it because obviously we'll be wearing the outfits. And yeah, I probably will wear the camera today. I might as well. It's only 10k. Much like Bourne, I can get most of it in. Just miss off half k or so before the halfway point. And yeah, not much more to say. <laughs> so as far as I can tell, that's a start. It doesn't. It might not look too bad on the camera, but uh, that is certainly a climb to start. I mean, I haven't really. I haven't talked to him. I haven't checked my messages. So I, I, I joked because he was he was meant to be running with me, Luke and Tom, last Sunday. Oh, yeah. and On your marks, count down to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
to work. Well, Chris, see you all. Nice work. Oh, right, here we are on the cool down. Bit of a probably going to be a bit of a short one for the time being because apparently the prize giving is a quarter past twelve and it's already uh, ten past twelve, so I need to make my way back to the uh, to the race start or oh, race finish at some point. Um, because yes, I was first, um, as you will have seen, because I actually managed to record it. So first race recorded and won, obviously uh, didn't record Bramley and won and recorded uh, Borton and didn't win so yeah as you might have seen on the on the filming there was uh, yeah some pretty nasty bits of mud there I'd hardly call it the uh, road race county champs but uh, you know that's the weather you can't if the weather had been better it would have been a really nice and probably fast course not pretty fast I mean it was still quite hilly and it still ran 33 39 which was only about 30 seconds off the course record I think it's 33 12 so I mean that wasn't what you know that wasn't the plan today the plan was to win you know and Matthew Marshall had a good race uh, we sort of sat together for the first 5k he pushed on about five and a half to six k on like one of the climbs and then uh, you know I thought I'd thought I'd given him too much of a gap but uh, seven to seven and a half k on the climb back in um, I managed to catch him up again and uh, yeah by by 8k I I had him and then it was all downhill so I had to chase <coughs> Uh, sort of similar to uh, Henley Cross Country last week in that I had someone chasing me on the on the last down although the down was a bit longer and there was a bit more of a, a bit more after the downhill to uh, to you know keep going essentially afterwards um, but yeah first place county champ um, not sure how the team's got on I reckon we were probably third men's team um, we'll see, and we'll see you at the prize giving. Well done, sir. Oh, Thanks for race. Oh, yes. Okay, starting with the county champions, the overall county already, champion. Right, he's already ready, he's already going. Yeah. The county men's champion is Matt Long. Yeah. We have got the uh, Goring Eco Medal uh, with a let, let's let's put all the sponsors there on show. Um, I think you could pay for a proper medal, but I, I didn't really look when I uh, entered. Um, there's the nice race number, obviously with another sponsor there on the front, and the bits that matter: the trophy for the Goring 10K Men's Open 2024. Very nice, nice, uh, nice weapon, actually. You know. Got all these, uh, they are quite, they are quite sharp, quite sharp edges. And then the next trophy, um, now, don't get me wrong, obviously I'm happy with winning and being the Road Race County Champion, 
But that's what I won yesterday. This is what I won at Ensham. Do you want to? Do you want to just tell me where the differences are? Again, I know it's 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 a you know it's a hard thing to manage. You know, with the trophies and the scores. You know, he's he's volunteer. Will's volunteering. He's got a lot on his plate. But you knew where the county championships were. Could have at least put the the event. Well, maybe I'll have to get it engraved myself. But um, yeah, there's the haul for today. Happy with the win. Trophy, trophy. Right, so that will just about do it for the Goring 10K race day vlog. Um, of course, thank you to all the marshals, uh, all the people taking photos, uh, Sharon, Chairman John, John Harvey from Abingdon. There might be another one in there that I've forgotten. Um, thank you to Will for doing the county championships. I know I went, I went a little bit off in the in the trophies, but it's, you know, as I said, as I said, he, he, it's all you know, volunteering in his own time. He said he's retiring soon, so we will. There, there's a there's a good chance we will see a, a a substantial improvement in the running and you know stuff like the trophies for the county champs for the Grand Prix. So, you know, thank you to him for you know giving up his time. You know, he he does it for free. The Goring 10K itself race organisers. I believe her name is Elky. Um, she's the main organiser, the one that um, took on the reins for uh, for Goring to be in the county champs or the the county champs for this year. So, yes, thank you to her. And uh, obviously, there's probably a larger team uh, behind her: the marshals, the timekeepers, etc., etc. So, yes, thank you to those guys as well. Yeah, that's that's just about it, really. Um, the full race video might be out. Wednesday next week, if I've got time to, as I said, you know, with Borton, it took it took quite a while to render to process because it's a large file. So we'll see. Um, Park on Saturday and Banbury fifteen, right back on the GP train, on the Grand Prix train uh, on Sunday. So if you did enjoy, please do like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. And until the next one. Trust the process. Bye.